Hello guys, Don DB Sotonato. I am making an instructional video on how to beat Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. Uh, please note if you guys are here and have never played this game before and don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you stop watching this video right now and actually play the fucking game. Now, um, without further ado, um, let's get on with the video. Enjoy. Ten years passed. My father and I hardly spoke. Neither of us willing to forgive the other or ourselves for Adrian's death. My father retired to live in seclusion on his private game reserve in Uganda, while I made a name for myself as a professional hunter. After ten years without a word, my father reached out to me. Soon, we would hunt together again. Not for sport this time, but for redemption. Alright, this time we're in the River Delta, and I might not cut the video out this time because we're doing River Delta. But River Delta is probably going to be one of the hardest levels to do. Because we're in a fucking middle of a river, and we have to fucking navigate through the thing without getting killed and shit. Um, now if I can do it... I, um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something, dude. Alright. Now, in this level, the marksman targets are gonna be different. Notice how the marksman targets in that one were a bunch of cranberries. These ones are going to be honey, honey, uh, honey hives, or not. Beehives, I think they're beehives, yep. They're gonna be beehives. So they're gonna be a lot more different. It's good to see you, Cole. It's been what? Ten years? Too long for a father to be deprived of company of his only son. I see you still have few words for your old man. I can't blame you. Some wounds take more than time to heal. I'm glad you came anyway. There's no one I'd rather have at my side on this hunt. <laughs> Except maybe in Becky here. Your reputation precedes you, Cole Rainsford. It will be an honor to hunt alongside you. And Becky here is the finest tracker in Africa. Now when he talks, you listen. His people have been hunting big game in these parts since Adam and Eve. I've hunted all over the world. I've seen terrible things. Man-eaters. Predators driven mad by hunger and disease. But I have never seen anything like what's happening where we're headed. The attacks began a few weeks ago. Whole families carried off in the night. Nobody knows what's doing the killing. Some say it's a pride of lions, driven to desperation by disease or drought. And Becky here doesn't buy that theory. I reckon I don't either. Make no mistake, son. These beasts we're hunting are pure evil. I know what you're thinking. Words like good and evil have no place in the natural world. You'd be right about that. There ain't nothing natural about these. Oh shit! Hippo! That was a hippo! Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah, welcome to Africa. Yeah, this is the first African level. And right as soon as you start off over on the left, at the back, there should be a beehive right here. Alright. 
All right, anyways, that was that. Now there should be something else over in the uh, different areas. But don't forget that this is a uh, crocodile turf to this crocodile is going to be around every corner in this fucking place. Don't forget, it's a river. It's a fucking, it's going to have all that shit in it. But, um, Hunter Sense, 30 animals will use it, Hunter Sense. And then you got, kill seven birds with one shotgun shot. Oh, that is fucking interesting. On 50 snakes. Alright. Anyways, let's continue. Goddamn croc around here somewhere. He does all that mess up. for me later. There's a reason. There's a reason why. Believe me, I ain't trying to get killed. I think the next collectible item should be around this little uh, air haven over here, the bottom, and here it is. 
Dr. Bauer and I have not yet been able to identify the predator species responsible for the recent attacks. The physical evidence is sketchy at best, and the few eyewitness accounts we've heard stretch the limits of credibility. talking about the new different species of uh, stuff that they got. all of them that I see that is set Maybe it's not. Something. Alright, that's it. Oh, yay, we got a shoddy bag. Oh, I know why. There's gonna be a goddamn fucking thing up here somewhere. You know what that means? There's gonna be crocodiles soon. That'll be the only real reason why they're giving me anything like that. So, why would they be giving me that shit? You know what I mean? Let's 
save a... Oh, here it is. There it is. That should be in that little tree cul-de-sac thing at the top. And there should be an item by the tower. But I'm going to avoid all of that because I got to swim over here. Oh, I kind of can't come back up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm down here. Right. In here, there is going to be crops. So beware of that when you're in this goddamn thing. I swear to God, there's going to be goddamn things in here. Wow, nothing yet. Bop from the other side. Nothing. Wow, okay. I thought would I thought there would have really been something. Fuck. Unless it's like a fucking Oh there they are. There they are. Okay, now you can see him. This is where they'll be. Right here, in this little area. Before I do that, I'm gonna go check the bed. Oh shit. Cause I'm near water, I'm afraid I'm gonna fucking get jumped. Like I said, this level's weird. I think this is one of the weirdest, worst ones, actually. If I'm not mistaken. This is where the, this is where the rubber meets the road. If that makes any sense at all. Speed is key. 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 Nice. Okay. Want that goddamn shoddy ammo, nigga. Oh shit! That nigga fucking started flying.
God damn. I knew that was coming. Woo! Alright, I think that is everything, I think, for now. Like, there's nothing else, like, there's nothing else. I think that's it, actually. Ooh, there's something back there. All right, by the way, in this little back little area, there's going to be a buffalo horn. Back you get the buffalo horn, there should be something else over on the right. Uh, but the first thing is we're going to get the buffalo horn. We get buffalo horn, and there you go, buffalo horn. Yep. Okay. And then after you do that, there should be something on the right side. And then... Alright, after you go up there and get that item, there should be a journal up on the top somewhere. And your rifle should be up here as well. But I'm not going to go in there to get anything because I have to go and Dr. The Bauer is not prepared to rule out the possibility that a pride of lions are responsible for the recent attacks. However, the invasion of inhabited homes suggests a level of habituation rarely found among big cats. Alright, anyways, after you get that item, after you clear this, there should be a little ravine where you could get the rest of the stuff in the little level. Shotgun, 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 yep. I'm gonna wait on getting the rest of the ammo because I don't really have to get it currently.
There. There. Okay, we got that one. And now, all we have to get is the one on the left right by that one. And then that should be it for that area. Before I go up there, I'm going to see anything that I can get, because obviously, uh, if I leave, I might not be able to come back, obviously. Because remember that one area I left, I may couldn't come back. So, do that. Do that, do that. Now, after we get that item, there should be an item at the far left after you get that little buffalo horn on the right. Should be run right. Oh, shit. Forgot. That snake would have bit my fucking ass. That was my tracks. Obviously, because I killed the grizzly that can't be grizzly tracks. Um, anybody with common sense would know that. That those are definitely not no grizzly tracks. And then there's one at the bottom. Yeah, here it is. Alright. Now well, there's that one. And after you get that one, there should be one on I think the part that part I believe because it's not in this one obviously so I'm gonna have to travel over here I had to kill him before he hit me because the motherfucker would have came out from my ass. Ooh. Hot shot. Trying to check the trees, but there's nothing in the tree right now. I don't see anything. Oh.
See ya. Cheetah. That's it, actually. Because I don't see anything. Yeah, I think that's it, actually. Yep. Anyways, after you get that item... We're gonna backtrack fast forward over to this area where the left there should be a beehive somewhere in this vicinity. Um let me look around. I heard one of them. being cautious now. I'm being cautious now. After you get that item, there should be an item over on the right, and let's buy all this shit back. Now, why is it in the back here? I don't know, but it is. For some reason, they just picked the weirdest spots ever to put these fucking things. And, um, the other one's gonna be way, way, way later in the level, so I'm not even gonna bother with showing it right now. Um, yeah, let's continue on. Ooh, I heard one. I heard one. I heard one. He didn't move, though. I definitely heard his ass. Somewhere. There's somewhere in here, you little motherfucker. Nothing new. You 
fucking motherfucker what I got there next. Uh, before, uh, alright, anyways. Wow, I wasted a lot of ammo on that. But I had to do that because I'm trying to not get killed by any of these dudes right now. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. That might have been a bad idea to pick up all those goddamn shotgun rounds, but I don't care because I'm not trying to go and backtrack all this fuck goddamn way. I really ain't. I really ain't. I'm not in the mood. Damn it. You fucking piece of shit! Dude. God damn it. That fucking hippo is crazy looking, man. Wow. What the fuck, man? Oh, you fucking badass fucking piece of shit. Badass motherfucker. Being a fucking faggot. Faggot. One of the most troubling aspects it? of this case concerns the ineffectiveness of traps and poisons against these mysterious predators. It's as though these animals have learned to recognize and avoid such traps by sight. Alright, we got that item, and then there's one item right here. Item 6 out of 9. Now... Uh, we back out of that fucking thing. There should be one somewhere else. Up in front of, I think, uh, I don't even know. Ow. 
kicks blue. Yep. So that's why I don't go for headshots. That's exactly why I fucking don't go for headshots. We got the buffalo. Oh, cool. It's on the top left. In the back row. And then there should be an item in the stampeding room. Somewhere. Area, this area specifically. Now, in this area, I think there's an item you can shoot, I think. You're gonna have to be careful because you have to be fucked every time you Oh, there it is. I got it. We're getting close to the last one. After we get that, there should be one more uh, horn to get, and it's at the end of the level. After this, I think. Uh, I fucking have no idea. There we go. 
sure you got that one, that one. guys oh here it is got it and that my friends is all of the experience items in the level now there is only one more item to get and that is the last uh, beehive in the back. Um, now, the blast beehive should be somewhere around. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> you fucking. Okay, that was it. Okay. We have everything. Alright, that is River Delta. Alright, guys. All we have to do now is make it to the end without dying. Oh shit, here's the boat. Is anyone out there? This is Samson Rainsford. Can anyone hear me? Piece of junk. Cool. If you can hear me, I washed ashore about ten clicks downriver from where we lost the boat. I'm heading to my hunting lodge. Find Mbecky if you can. Be waiting for you. Alright guys, that's it. Um... I will return to you guys later when we take on part four. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Take care, everyone. For the first time since the day Adrian died, I was no longer certain of my own place at the top of the food chain. I knew then how my ancestors must have felt. Struggling to survive in a hostile wilderness where the hunter is both predator and prey.